we are recording. Welcome Hi. to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle is in Arizona doing the things. We are here doing the show. Jimmy is back. I was told. I was told by some people on Twitter that if I didn't show up today, that was it. I was out. Yeah, you were gone, man. You get three strikes. I was done. The people actually did uh, say that <coughs> the show was different without you just when they had topics they wanted your opinion on, which is actually probably good for you to read because it was on Twitter. So I'm so yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, what we're seeing, I mean, we're seeing is just busy life. Like I'm, I come back and then Kyle leaves. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Yeah. He comes, back, he comes back tomorrow, I think. Yeah, he's watching some spring training. Nerd. Nerd. Baseball is so boring. Let's go over that. Baseball is the most boring sport on the planet. It's worse than golf. Hey, he's there playing golf and watching baseball. <laughs> I I can't get uh I can't get behind uh, TV baseball, but if I'm at a game, at a game is different. But I, it's yeah, more of but a I'm sure you can say that for everything. It's, it's more of a social thing for me for baseball, though. Like you're outside, you're having some beers. Like it's not really about the game for me. I'm not a huge fan of baseball. And there was a game last year in Minnesota where it was like the game got rain delayed. It was a Wednesday night. It was, it was like 40 degrees out and rainy. And it was <laughs> like it was like 10:30 at night. And it was in the fourth inning. Like who's there? <laughs> I would have, that's the one where uh, I'm the Fairweather fan who would be like, yeah, there, I'm out to exit. <laughs> right. Burns, right. when are we going to get you on some PS4, man? We could have right. used you today. I know, you needed my skills, man. It was a, it was a, rough, it was a rough stream. I'm not going to lie. It was a little rough. Uh, yeah, but, uh, Burns, a... I led the team in kills, so that tells you how rough the stream was. Yeah, Jimmy, I had such a funny kill in Fortnite and Xbox. So I'm sitting in uh, the red building next to Clock Tower. Okay. And there's a guy like running below me, and all I have is like a all I have is like a common AR, and I had a four C four, so I threw like four C fours like outside the door, uh, like outside my room or whatever. And he was just chilling downstairs, so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna blow it. I blow it up, I fall down the floor right in front of him and pop oh, in the head. Oh yes. <laughs> we didn't have any luck today. We did find some llamas, and I found a heavy shotgun. I didn't get to use it, but. Yeah, right as we found it, we died. <laughs> yeah. No, not right as we did. No, oh, right yeah, we, we lasted a little bit. I had a triple nade kill again, though, Burns. He so. did. The nades are there. Colby played, played pretty good. Velocity, he, he, apparently the stream, it, it got him. He, he couldn't handle the pressure today. I haven't seen him on in a long time, too. Maybe he hasn't played in a while. There was 2,000 people at one point in there, and then we died in the storm. <laughs> do they got you? Do they got you on some sort of like uh, Facebook ad for it or whatever? Like Facebook is pushing it. I have no idea. The no the one day Kyle and I tried to find it because your thing it was liking so much. It's you got to be like featured on it, Facebook. It, gaming. Must, it must be because the viewership was like when we were watching it was like really fluctuating a lot. Yeah. Well, it's crazy because it kind of it goes up as the match goes on. Yeah. And then when the match is over, it drops. And then I'm, I'm wondering if there's like some Facebook hub where they can just go through and they're looking for people that are like deeper into a match to get more action maybe, or something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. See, because like if you go to Facebook gaming, it's not like YouTube. I can't like just click on here and Let me look. I'm on like Facebook gaming right now. It's just more like trying to get me to create and join up. Oh, let's talk about Facebook for a second. Have you guys been keeping up with the whole Zuckerberg having to go on the news and figure out what's going on stuff? Do you know what's going on? Yeah. All right. Let me, I explained it to my wife, Jimmy. I'll explain it to you in a lot of better social media terms. So basically, this company was using an app. Uh, just like you, like when you download Candy Crush, you agree to like, oh, we might look at your friends list, whatever. Right. Most of the time, you're just like, whatever. Like, I'm, It's Facebook. I trust it. So this app, all they were doing when they were creating these like uh, two minute surveys and then they would pay people two to five dollars on like basically a Fiverr site to fill out the surveys and it would take them two minutes. So you're like, oh, dude, yeah, I can get five bucks in two minutes. And if you shared it with your friends, you got 50 cents for every friend who did it. OK, so you're like, wow, sweet. But what they were agreeing to was, hey, not only do we get your public information, but we can see your friends list, which doesn't seem that intrusive. But what this company did was they would go to like, so in 2013, when they started, the average person had 384 friends. So they would go to Burns's friends list, which they now have access to, and they could compile enough data there where it was just like, even just like his name, location, age, blah, blah, blah. But some people didn't have private profiles. So they would start building these huge, like, you know, databases of people, da, 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 da. fast forward to a couple years ago, 
they got in trouble, this company out in the UK, they got in trouble for like breaking Facebook's rules and letting people like get in and like super target, like, uh, <coughs> like whatever it was, something that got them in trouble. So then where Facebook now is in trouble is they were, they told them to shut down, but then supposedly a whistleblower was like, I mean, they told us not to do anything like that again, but they didn't come to our office and shut us down. Right. And now fast forward to what they're getting shredded with now is this company agree, like pretty much admitted that they helped uh, the Brexit make it. So like the right people saw what they manipulated the whole thing. They manipulated another election and they manipulated to make Trump win. Like they can, they're like, yeah, we, yeah, helped make Trump like win. A, they like got caught on tape admitting that they, they pretty much push like fake narratives. And they're like, it doesn't matter if it's true. Like the guy's quote is like, it doesn't matter if it's true is it matters if someone believes it. Exactly. And then they, uh, they admitted to like, uh, where they try to, uh, entrap politicians with like bribes and sex workers and things like that. Ow. So what was so the what the, were the what were the fake narratives for the 2016? I, I'm election? not sure. They were just they were just saying we just push stuff. It doesn't yeah, matter. That's crazy. It doesn't matter if it's true. I'm matter. not I'm not surprised. Are you then, guys? Well, what's crazy is so then like this uh, this TechCrunch dude who seemed like he was really like anti Facebook. He was going through like all the problems. Like what he like went through Facebook's privacy policy. And all the things like that they broke and how many times they broke their own like rules and stuff. And that's right. what got picked up by people and why Facebook stock like it didn't drop to its lowest, obviously, point. It but took it, took its, it took its biggest drop in like the history of the company from like 168 to whatever. And then Zuckerberg made like I, I sent it to, to Kyle. It was like his first interview, like public interview type thing in years where he like went on CNN to like defend his company. And then all he did was just PR. Uh, oh yeah, well, we're gonna be better. We're gonna do better, like that kind of stuff. But I it's crazy. A, I saw a crazy quote where I was like, you know, like Facebook is worth like billions of dollars, and it's a free to use social media site. Yeah. And I saw a quote that says, if uh, if the site is free, or if the uh, the platform is free, if the platform is free. You're the product. Yep. It makes you think, dude. I mean, think about YouTube. Like, I go on YouTube. I don't pay for youtube i watch all these videos i'm the product like their people are paying to put ads in front of me and paying people like you guys right to, uh, yeah it's just crazy the facebook thing is crazy because it's the biggest social network still and in, it kind of has never really had this big of a black eye but now people are starting to realize like holy crap there was jimmy they had like 300 something million people's information Oh yeah, dude. Like they, more than like the U.S. population. Knowledge, and, knowledge, and data is power, especially with what's going. On. Imagine, imagine how crazy it's going to get with the 2020 election. You know, it's just going to be bonkers. Or even midterms this fall. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, man. It's it's insane. <laughs> Facebook is for old people now. Like, who, who, who are the young people that still use Facebook? Well, Besides, let's look. I always wonder. Jimmy that. and his stream. No, let's, but I still think I still think like. There's still a key, like yeah. There's more. Okay, here it is, right here. This is the. I mean, if you're Z if you're Zuckerberg, when do you just get to the point where you're like, I don't need any more money. I'm done with it. Yeah, somebody else run it. I'm gonna take my money and I'm done. Or do you think he's all like Elon See, Musk and they want to change the world and he and just make needs to do what Tom from MySpace did. He took his whatever five hundred million. That yeah, you don't hear about Tom money. anymore. And he just he just fucked right off. He's like, I just do what I do. Yeah. Tom is the right now the smartest one because the Evan whatever Spedelberg guy from Snapchat he kind of did like oh I'm not taking the money and now look like <laughs> he's gonna be hurting. I see I'm I'm torn on Zuckerberg. I feel like it's so easy for us like even when you watch Shark Tank you know and like you'll see the guy be like it's only five more percent of your company dude get, get it's Damon go like join yeah and but when like, you're for Zuckerberg you're like you should just leave dude you have billions of dollars but then part of you like thinks oh he built this thing from like nothing you know it's got to be hard or stole it from nothing <laughs> or stole it from nothing think of box foods <laughs> i don't know I, I okay so here's the uh facebook users united states app as of january 18th age and gender so the most popular age is still 25 to 34 females 13 percent, 12 males so that's still the main age group but here's where it's kind of be scary if you're running facebook 13 to 17 year old that makes up one percent of their current demo yeah, there's still good. a high chunk in 18 to 24 though so i mean in theory in five years 
when these people go up to this higher run, like there shouldn't like so it's, it's almost like a pyramid scheme like there's gonna be no bottom like, there's no like well it could also it could also be more family oriented so as those people turn 18 and into their 20s if they get families maybe they're like oh i want to go facebook post pictures yeah. of my kids stuff like that i don't know who knows Jeez, there's so just younger people right now are on Instagram, Twitter. Just, just Instagram is probably Snapchat. one of the biggest, yeah. Well, Snapchat was like competing where it's like this is where all the young people are, and then they just went, eh, we don't, we like all this, but we're gonna screw it up for everybody. Yeah. So what else is going on, boys? Not much, man. I'm sick. Best. You're sick. You sound yeah. sick. What happened? Don't know. Just started two days ago. All those kids you got running around, man. It is. It is. Yeah, because then they go out and then they get it from somewhere and then they get it from somewhere. It's this never-ending cycle of, of crud. If you're not careful. Look at uh, look at Ninja the other day on CNBC. <laughs> Dude, he knocked Dude. it out of the park, didn't he? And you could tell. Uh, well, that lady was kind of dumb. That was the nervous. well, the lady was condescending. She was trying. Yeah. She wasn't trying to be brash about it but you could hear the undertones mm-hmm. like this motherfucker makes half a million dollars to play games blah 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 ninja mm-hmm. ninja handled that interview as good as i've ever seen anybody in that space i mean and then at the end be... even he even hit him with the uh, we we don't or we we adopt uh, an animal yep. every month and we've raised yeah, yeah he killed it Crushed uh, it. you got to be happy for Twitch when you look at the face of their platform versus the face of YouTube's platform, which is. Do you think that was, guys I was, suicide? I was thinking about the other day. Is, is should YouTube be worried about Twitch? I, I mean, I think you kind of have to be at this it, point if, in that specific space. Yeah, but in the bigger in the bigger realm of things, like just video, nobody nobody's even in the same stratosphere as YouTube when it comes to like minutes watched or anything like that or consumption of a video and i mean i don't know there's so many genres that will never make the move to twitch that are so popular like beauty like there's not going to be like a girl live streaming i mean there might be but it's not going to like most yeah you just you don't you don't hear of the twitch vod's popping like if you if you're looking for yeah. a video you go to youtube you know if you're looking yeah. for a streamer you go to twitch i do think that they're definitely going to make more of an impact social wise though than people were thinking with the way that this for, through Fortnite, honestly, like right. it's, it's getting so big. I don't know. What do you guys think about Dr. Disrespect? Talk about getting flipped on. I went to a stream what yesterday. Happened? Well, I mean, I went to a stream yesterday and there was 15,000 in there. I mean, yeah. I, I thought it was like him and Ninja battling it out a month ago, like 40, 50, 100,000. And he had like 15,000 people in there. I, don't get me wrong. Dude's still banking, but uh, he's live he, right now with how many's he got? Twenty one thousand right now. Twenty one thousand. I mean, he's Ninja, he's playing, Ninja. He's looking for the shotgun. Ninja knocked him off his pedestal, didn't he? And Ninja's got one hundred twenty five thousand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, then Ninja's way better at the game than than uh, than Doc is. So right, Doc was all about the PUBG. Well, and as an outsider from me looking at both of these guys, I'm watching the dude who's. You know, being uh, humble, I'm gonna go adopt some dogs. Well, as a 15 year old gamer, you're probably gonna attach more to the gamer with the skill and the blue hair, and he relates to you or whatever. If you're a 27 year old guy, you're probably like, oh yeah, slick daddy, that guy's cool, edgy, you know. Of all the people, of all the people watching Fortnite right now, 50 percent, over 50 percent are watching Ninja. It's insane. I mean, look at the drop off. It's like Ninja 125,000. Doc is 21,000, and then you got 5,000, 4,000, 4,000, 3,000. Like, he's just dominant. Yeah. Uh, isn't it also crazy that there's, uh, I mean, what is that, 200,000 people right now at 1130 my time in the afternoon watching a video game? Yeah. This I mean, is we, crazy. We, we had 2,000 in there for a little while watching us, Colby. I know. That's what's just crazy. It's just crazy to think that that's that popular. I love it. I wonder how long it'll last. I what else you uh, What else you been doing, Burns? Hockey games? Oh, man, that was a tough one the other night. The team tied the game with 40 seconds left, lost in overtime. That was great. Is it playoff hockey yet? April. I'm going to get behind it again, dude. I'm going to get behind it. I think there's like nine games left or something like that. I'm going to take a look at the standings make sure they make the playoffs this year. It's pretty close, I think. Uh, J- Jimmy, you weren't on here last time while he's looking that up. Uh, 
we looked up our March Madness thing, and there's three guys who could still win it, like who should win it. Like they're in the top 99% still in all of ESPN. Three guys uh, in our group? Yeah, in our group. Oh, Not wow. like win the whole thing, but they, they should win our pool. Okay. But then if you go look at like, it's crazy how many people are still so perfect like not perfect but like so close to perfect with all these upsets there's still people at 99 percent right it's insane that's crazy that's just people that just oh wow it's pretty close we have 90 <laughs> points and the last playoff spot has 87 so how did my bracket do i haven't even logged in colby can you see mine yeah one sec leaderboard i couldn't even tell uh, you who i picked or who i didn't pick honestly uh, yeah, so the guy in first right now in ours has Gonzaga winning it all, uh, but his he still could lose uh, just based on the because his champion. Are we actually. giving a prize away? Yeah, we got to figure out. We got to figure out how we're gonna find this winner though, because his name is just Go Leafs Go, but it like doesn't have his name. He's a Maple uh, Leafs fan. Yeah, that's, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> I gotta find you really quick, Jimmy. Hold on. Going back over to um, video games for a second. Did you guys see the freaking news about Modern Warfare Two Remastered? Mm-mm. Oh my God! No multiplayer? Is that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> what is so, wrong with that company, man? So it's it looks like it's coming in April. That's gotta be a, it's gonna, gonna be it's gonna be twenty five dollars, and you're literally all you're getting is a campaign, and, and you're probably. probably you're probably, probably getting a campaign with no Russian in it, yeah. Yeah, which is the main part of the story. What do you think about that? You gonna buy it? You gonna buy it? No, not if there's not multiplayer. Would you buy it if there's multiplayer? Yeah, I would. And I would play it a lot. I mean, whoever's putting out this, what is it, Activision that's probably publishing it? Of course. Imagine. How can, yeah. how can they have a meeting and be like, look, guys, right now, the, the space that's being dominated is these Battle Royale games, Fortnite in particular. So let's put out one of the best Call of Duties that we have ever had. One of the most popular, and not put multiplayer in. Do like you? It was th- like great idea. Do you think they'll put it? It's they're gonna bring it like they did remastered Modern Warfare and make it an update like a month or two down the road, like a surprise remaster. Modern it, Warfare. 4. No, you you got it a month early. It was just campaign, and then they added multiplayer as an update. That's so I, dumb. I don't know how these guys keep screwing it up. I know we're not experts on it, but like Burns said, like there's got to be a somebody who can just knock on someone's head and be like, dude, you've got to listen here. Well, I don't see how people don't lose their job because literally they haven't made a peep about it and it's already the most negative press thing out there. Like they haven't even announced it and everybody's already shitting on it. Has anyone ever passed that? Uh, I think it was their trailer, right? Infinite was Warfare. It? Is that still like the most disliked thing? Yeah, it's just so that like that to me is so crazy. Like again, like what Burns said, and I'm not saying I'm an expert in this. I know it's hard to make a game and all that stuff, but at some point you gotta like. Okay, okay, I that know one so much money though. That one you you can't. I mean, I I can I can give some leniency to that one because Infinity Ward started that like two and a half years before that, so they took a guess. And that was right when Advanced Warfare, we were getting into the spacey stuff uh, and Black yeah, Ops. Yeah. So they took a guess. And uh, you can't really guess where the community's mind's going to be three years later. It just happened to be like, we're ready for boots on the ground. And then the trailer comes out and you see a little thruster pack and that's it. It's over. Boom. <laughs> but now look, I mean, uh, I mean, I think Black Ops 4 is going to be advanced movement. I don't think it's going to be boots on the ground. You don't think so? They got to nope. go back. I, I don't think it's going to be. I don't think, I don't think there's any way it's going to be. I like how I was so excited for World War II to come out, and I haven't played it since. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Jimmy was a college YouTuber, man. Yeah, it's crazy because I'm I'm literally not a Call of Duty YouTuber anymore. Like, Bro, I'm not. Was that crazy when you, when it was coming out? You were like, "All right, World War II boots on the ground." The Call of Duty YouTube is back, and then you play Fortnite, and you're like, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you." I haven't. And I'm out. I, mean, I haven't logged. Let me look at Twitch right now. I want to see where Call of Duty is. I want to see. All right. Dude, it's so sad. While you're looking, I went to. If you go to Google Trending, the the trending thing, like Google, you can do trends. You can match names. If you put Fortnite, Minecraft, and Call of Duty all like next to each other, like Minecraft is steady up there, and then Fortnite's like shooting straight up, and then Call of Duty's like in the gutter. All right, here's. All right, I want you to take a guess. No looking, Jimmy. All right. 
what is the top viewer uh, number right now for Call of Duty World War II? On <clears throat> 1,400. I'm going to say are, 200. You, you are so far off. 120. Oh, I was close. Are you serious? Oh, wow. Who is it? Who's streaming it? It's Moo Sixer. I don't know who that is. <laughs> What's he streaming? Uh, just, World War II. Just, pl- just playing? P- PS4. Uh, yep, 3.7 KD, it says. Yeah. 120. That's the top Call of Duty World Dude, War Jimmy, you were off a lot. That was a lot lower than you were thinking there. I'll cheer you up, though. You still have six of your Sweet 16 teams left. Do I really? Yeah. I mean, you're not doing that terrible. Only you actually have – you picked Lowell Chicago all the way, This the upset so far. <laughs> But your right side of your bracket is poop. So yeah, you still. I mean, you could still get lucky though. What place am I? Uh, ninety third. <laughs> Out of how many? Uh, like one sixty. So you're not terrible. Fifty uh, percent. What about you guys? I I didn't see Burns. I didn't play it this year, so. Oh, you didn't get in it. Yeah. So yeah, Jimmy, you're not on the last. Oh, you're on the last page, but you're not uh in last. There's no. still a bunch behind you i'm a little bit ahead of you but you have more potential points than me i'm currently in 49th place tied i don't i don't know if i don't know if black ops 4 can bring it back man i don't know i'm i'm, I'm a little concerned have they, have, they, have they have seemed to have met their match i mean and if unless they're building a battle royale mode from the ground up which I highly doubt it. You know they're going to be trying to utilize their engine that they're that they're they've had forever. I don't know. I think it's going to. I think it could potentially be ugly. I mean, Treyarch's the best at what they do, but you're you're going up again. It not just. I'm not just talking about Fortnite. I'm talking about other games that are going to jump on this. I mean, uh, Far Cry Five will probably end up with something. Battlefield. I, if battle, I'm telling you, Battlefield's probably going to come out with the most polished battle royale out of everybody and shit on everybody. Like the not the like Fort. PUBG can say goodnight if Battlefield puts out something. Yeah, like yeah, that they they would directly shit on on PUBG. It wouldn't be as much Fortnite because Fortnite's a different animal. Uh, but for the well, it's for a the different type of game, like if you're looking for like a military modern shooter, shooter military, yeah, Battlefield's going to just they're probably going to go nuts with that man. I don't know. I, I, I hate to say it because I mean I started YouTube as a Call of Duty guy. I've been a fan of Call of Duty forever. It just just not there anymore, man. It's not that it's not. It's just bad decision making by the people that don't that have their head in the clouds. Don't know what the hell's going on on the ground. You know. I mean, we all. I mean, it's been talked about for so long. Like, who's going to dethrone Call of Duty? And I don't know how you define dethrone. I mean, their sales right. are still outrageous in November. Well, that's because guess- they pour money into marketing. Yeah, right. yeah, but if you want to say like dethroned is a game that's more fun than Call of Duty, it's been taken out. Yeah, I feel like I buy a few of them. Yeah, I agree. It's not, not just Fortnite killing it. What a time to be alive! What a time to be alive! And then you, and then you, 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 you have an opportunity to gain a little hype with some Modern Warfare Two nostalgia, and you're like, "Yep, yeah, we're gonna bring you a campaign for twenty five dollars, no multiplayer." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit! You just people just turn on their 360 right now and play that shit, dude. It just it blows my I have mind. A buddy who still plays Halo, uh, the Halo remaster thing, and he has no problem finding games. Did you there's see still enough people on there that will still play Halo with him? It's did you crazy. see uh, Fortnite announce the theater system? Yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. That's gotta be what next patch, probably. So. That's crazy, dude. Like that's it's like super in depth too. Like you could go. So that's gonna that's gonna change the the, the videos on YouTube. Yeah, the content's gonna go. I I said in a video yesterday that you have these rare windows with YouTube where if you find the window, you could actually be a small guy and blow up. It's really yeah. rare now. I think one of those windows is about to open up because you're gonna get some people that just they dominate this these tools and they make some stuff like I mean, nobody's I, ever I can seen. See some really sick montage. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There's no way you can't. Yeah, I mean, think about just if you could take some of your coolest moments and just rewatch them. Well, like another uh, another window was back in Modern Warfare Three, uh, Moabs. We had Moab mentators. There was a window where if you were really good at getting Moabs, you could literally, I mean, you could launch your channel. The problem is on the back end. Once you're done with that, Modern Warfare Three's run its life cycle. Nobody wants to watch you go for Moabs three years later. But All right, that's when you learn to adapt. I guess. I don't know. Got these new computer glasses. Stupid. Oh, I like it. 
Stupid Call of Duty, man. It helped me doing? get my KD up today. Ask Jimmy. Does that really depress you, Jimmy, that like Call of Duty is on its way out? It makes me sad. It really does. I mean, I got a lot of memories of So do you. Yeah. But I mean, well, think just... about it. Both of you look at the plaques, Burns. Think yeah. about there was no Call of Duty back there, man. Yeah. And Halo. It is what it is, though. Adapt or die, I guess. It's just, it's cutthroat, man. And it's just crazy that we kind of see it in a different uh, scale because of the space that you're both in. And well, even Kyle, Kyle played video games to get popular too. Yeah. I'd rather go spend $25 on a legendary skin and a pickaxe as opposed to. <laughs> 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 right. It just sucks, dude. Yeah, you're right. It's not going to, it's not going to That's a, that's a fire tweet right now. You need to tweet that right now. That I is should. actually Jimmy tweet it right now. You should. No, I don't even, I don't even want to talk. Oh, oh, oh Burns is taking it. I'm going to steal it. Steal it, dude. Burns Take is taking it. the clout. Take it. It's all yours. <clears throat> How's the new PC uh, going? It's, it's good, man. Everything is rolling. Live streaming in 1080. Things are good. Rendering fast. I did notice, though, that I didn't take I didn't take off the ultra settings when I started recording this podcast. So this file is already massive. Oh, probably gigs. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Well, we're almost 30 minutes in. Yeah, it's it's pretty big. <laughs> we may have a little bit of an issue here. Uh, should we... Pa- no, because we didn't have to do twice. No, I, and it, we just, we'll go. I mean, we may, this may be a shorter episode. <laughs> because we're, we're recording it in ultra settings. Like, <laughs> I have, I got a new camera just to like mess around with. Well, it looks good right now, buddy. No, oh. this one. Oh. I got this like, Sony one. It's pretty cool. Uh... I make just like a minute video like I normally do on my iPhone and I go to export. I'm always, I always wonder too. I'm like, why do people always complain about complain about like render times? Like my stuff always renders in like 15 minutes. I don't get it. I go and I upload it or whatever. And I go to render it and it was like 38 minutes. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? So is Kyle going to miss the next episode? No, uh, he's back Friday. I was going to say if he misses two, then he's on the clock too. You missed, on the th- clock. You missed three in a row. Clock, dude. On the clock, we got the NFL on the clock coming soon. Johnny Manziel threw today, oh, and God. 12 pro scouts were there. Is he Someone really going to get a job? Someone made a good point. Like, <laughs> why is he having a pro day? He's already been a pro. He can't get drafted again, but I hope he does. I mean, I'm all about second chances, and the dude was a baller. He made some mistakes. I don't think he'll re- – the, the problem is is he can't, like, rebound like Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon is the ultimate freak of a freak who he can show up after not playing for two and a half years, and you're like, oh, yeah, he's still one of the best receivers out there. Manziel I'm, plays a tougher position, and he's undersized. You so think no. he, <laughs> You think a team's going to pick him up? I think, I think before – I think yeah. I think that he'll get one more shot. I don't think. I, I think. He'll you get think it, a shot in the league? I don't think he'll get a shot to really play. He'll be a backup. Do you think he'll screw it up? I don't think he has the money or the way to screw it up this time. Personally, uh, I think. Goldie, I, give me your uh, give me your thoughts on uh, the Vikings with Kirk Cousins. Are they going to the Super Bowl? I, they also signed uh, our boy from Seattle. They signed Sheldon too. Uh, I, it's tough to root against him. I think I hate Kirk Cousins as I think, a. Uh, that he, you know, he's had four thousand yard seasons and he's got receivers. And I, I hate him, but they, yeah, I, I, I do respect back. his game. And Dalvin Cook's coming back. They still got the defense. They could be real good. They upgraded the defense somehow. <laughs> like that's a tough thing to do with that defense. They already. I was had. hoping they were going to go out and get Honey Badger, but. I, mean, I thought they were. I thought for sure they were. What's so what people aren't really talking about as much too is like Watt, Honey Badger, and Clowney plus Deshaun Watson coming back, and the Texans aren't going to be terrible either. Like there's going to be some better teams. I think the Seahawks are going to be really shocked when they're I not. Mean, the I, I was shocked. I was shocked that Arizona is giving twenty million dollars to Sam Brad. That was. I mean, are you kidding me? That guy has gotten the most lucky contracts out of any player in the history of the NFL. Good he's, for him. He's been good riddled. With, he's, I think it's just because he has a good arm. He he can make. You know, he did have the best completions. Rating. He's he's fragile he's, though. He's fragile. He's, dude, I, 
he's the most fragile. If off the top of my head, I can't think of a quarterback who's been hurt more times and still got multi million dollar deals than him. You guys remember Ryan Leaf? Yeah, oh he got God. picked over Peyton Manning. Yeah. No, he didn't. He was second. Yeah. Oh, they were comparing him to Peyton. Yeah. He actually had a really good rookie season, and then it was like downhill from there. Dude, there was so much hype. I remember going, trying to get his rookie card out of like packs of cards. Dude, he, was... he, went to, he went to prison. <laughs> Twice. Twice. He did something like really bad. Right? Wasn't it like he was going to Vegas and like getting hammered? And he was like hammered during games, I think. <laughs> People are stupid. Right, here's Peyton Manning in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, in 09, he was arrested, but I feel like he was arrested before that, before. Doing nationwide commercials left and right. Nationwide is on. Is Damian Lillard going to the Cavs? I haven't been following sports much, but I saw LeBron. No, the, the, so right now the media is reporting that LeBron's either going to go Cavs, Rockets, or Lakers, Lakers with the two dark horses as the... Blazers and the <clears throat> Bucks. Either one of those markets is. But they're the best. That's exactly. You're, you, without even watching sports, you know exactly what the story is. You got the three best markets for him and then yeah. the two best teams for him to go to. He's going to one of the markets. There, I, don't, I, don't see him, I don't see how him and the freak playing together would work. No, but I, I, for the Blazers. Him, him and Lillard, would be, that would be nasty. McCollum well, no, and Lillard. It would be him, Lillard, and McCollum. McCollum so you've yeah. got two guard def- like guys who play defense, and then LeBron. And then you got like Rodman dudes talent. like Ed yeah. Davis, rebounders, and stuff oh, like yeah. that. They're four fives. They have four four fives that are all young. They could probably win a championship, but it's Portland. He's going to look at that and be like, it's Portland. Yeah. Oh, and that's exactly you. Without even watching sports, you know it's yeah. probably going to be the Lakers. Yeah. Or I could see him going to the Rockets just because it's his two really that's good It's a big players. market. What about that's the T-Wolves? Market. Yeah. It's, I mean, they don't it, have the money, though, I don't think. They would it's have to Minnesota, get- man. It's the same as Portland. That'd be like that'd be like him going and say, you know what, I'm going to start up a professional team in Arkansas. And Minneapolis, Minneapolis and St. Paul have the second-rated standard of living he's coming to minneapolis i don't think it's about standard of living i think his standard of living is above that wherever he goes i think it's about the the exposure i always wonder why god again this is like the zuckerberg thing easy for us to say we're not making millions of dollars but i always wondered like guys like him who are gonna make more money off the court than any player in the history of uh, probably athletics like he doesn't have to make money in the nba to make money right why doesn't he just go take that He's got that lifetime Nike contract. Yeah, yeah, go take like a five million dollar deal and bring in like three of your boys to take five million dollar deals and just never lose a game. <laughs> like, isn't that, again, easier for me to say when I'm not the one turning down eighty million dollars or whatever they, it would be. If players started doing that, like the league would have to put a rule in for minimums on players like that. Well, because that's like what people were worried about with one and dones for college is just like, oh, well, these guys who all play AAU together, they're going to be like, let's go to bum, bum, Wichita State. And they can all four of us go there and just party, whatever, and win. or whatever. And that obviously it didn't happen because that's not what college. What about for. what about Tiger Tiger Woods? Oh, he's back, boy. Gets a second place, ties for second. The Masters is coming up. What are his odds? All right, I can look. I don't know if he's going to do well in the Masters. He's Tiger he was freaking the Woods. Favorite dude, he was the favorite at one point. Do you remember what, in his dominance? I mean, it was insane. You, you could not beat him. It was insane. Dude. It was a shock when he didn't win. Uh, okay, he's right. not the favorite anymore. Wait, oh no, that's not the Masters. Dude, he would. I mean, every time you'd watch him on a Sunday, he was he was sinking like eighty foot putts or chipping in or hitting. Well, yeah, like- Kobe said, it was like a shock when he wouldn't win. Yeah. yeah, it was a shock. When someone would even like be close to him, they're like, ooh, he might beat Tiger. So right now it's Roy McElroy, Michael Mac Olroy, yeah. Dustin Johnson, both at plus eight hundred, Tiger Woods third ranked at plus nine hundred. Really? So then you've got guys like Justin Thomas, who I've heard of, Spieth, I've heard of, Justin Rose, Jason Day, Phil Mickelson. Those are all guys I've heard of. Ricky Fowler, Bubba Watson. Those Tiger all, Woods is a, a, a pretty all, much man. a favorite. He's a hundred off the favorite, yeah. But that also you have to remember this: like for sites like these guys, what they'll do too is they'll bait the lines a little bit because they'll make it seem like a lot of money's on Tiger. Like, oh, everyone's betting Tiger. That's why he's up. Everybody there, is going to bet Tiger just because oh, it's Tiger. 
I mean, yeah, that's like uh, they're hoping it's uh, the comeback. It was on March Madness. They were saying that Virginia and Arizona both losing was like the best thing for Vegas to see because 30 percent of all people who put teams to win picked Arizona and 23 picked Virginia. Oh, boy. So, Vegas made more money. Yay, so yeah. Good for them. There, like, sitting there after round one, they just went like, well, we just cleared 50 percent of the things right now. Like it's insane. I hope he wins. I mean, I, I hope he makes a comeback from all the shit he went through and had to do and get better in life. Shit he went through. He cheated on his wife. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mean it as in shit he went through as in, like, poor Tiger. I mean, he, he went through the shit. That's I'm hoping like a, I want to see him like come a, out the other end of it. You, I mean, you want to see people succeed through trial like and Johnny. tribulations. That's like Johnny. Yeah. That's funny that you say it like that, Burns, and how how Jimmy said it because I saw a tweet the other day that was like, uh, they were talking about the Stormy Daniels Trump thing, and they're like, whose idea was it to try and like make people upset that our president banged a bunch of porn stars in his past? Like, hello, we're trying to make him look weaker here. Like, not, I <laughs> don't want to root like for the guy. <laughs> I was I was like, that's so oh. weird that he's a, that he, that's in the, like can you, you imagine seen the stuff about his son, right? The Audrey O'Day stuff. Well, his one son's getting divorced. Yeah, uh, and it turns out that in when this girl was on the Celebrity Apprentice, like a r- pretty good-looking chick, she was the one that was having an affair with him, and then he called it off, and she made all these like songs to, uh, like about like how dirtbag he was and stuff, you know, without using him by name, and for some reason the record label wouldn't let her drop him, and now they're coming out now, be- and then people are like conspiracy people are being like no dawn like paid the company like hey don't let her release these songs like i got a wife who's huh. pregnant you know what's so it's crazy, crazy. It's like it's like way back in the 90s bill clinton gets a blowjob in the office and they try to impeach him throw him out of office smear his name comes out donald trump like paid off a porn star to stay quiet about their sexual affair and we're just like ah, it's no big deal yeah <laughs> well, they could do a lie detector test it might not be real and she passes it and it's like ah. Ah, no big deal Oh, it's or it's. I mean, there's more than just that. There's like the <coughs> the. I I mean, again, I'm not the most up to date political or political guy. I read it on Twitter, but I guess there's big bold like writing. Do not congratulate Putin, and the first thing he does is congratulations, Putin. To Putin. So I, don't I just even, don't. I don't think he cares anymore. Like, I don't even pay attention anymore, to be honest with you. I just want to see who's gonna. I just want to see who's gonna run against him, just to see if it's gonna be interesting. And, but that's the thing is now we're to the point where it has to be it has if you're on the other side of him you got to find somebody who can that you know can go you can't probably take the best political candidate no. you gotta have somebody that can go compete with him as far as like <laughs> i'm gonna take a, a lot show of, yeah exactly a circus Which is crazy that's we're like we're, living at, a, we're living a reality show right now we are we are for sure well cool i sent the thing to kyle he didn't uh he didn't respond with the, to the link. What are you talking about? I said because he was going to try and join. Oh, you don't know, Jimmy. You can you join can. mobile. Yeah, you can join on mobile. Well, yeah, you guys were going to do it. You did it for Dave and Buster's or something, didn't you? Or you going yeah, to? Yeah, no, no. We didn't. I like, tested it. They tested yeah, it. he tested it and oh. was just walking around his house, and it worked. Oh, really quick, really quick. We're probably going to need to cut short because this recording is massive. Um, Me and two buddies here uh i've told you about jason the the swat he's cop he's on swat and then i got a buddy matt who's a real estate guy we talked about it last year we never did it in september there is what is called a gambler 500 okay they do these in every state and basically you can spend up to 500 dollars on a car okay Yep. Can't buy a car oh, for more I than 500 them. bucks. And then you just race them, right? Yeah, yeah. That, then you can put as much money as you want into them after that. But the whole point is to get this beater and just go nuts. So we're going to do it. We wanted to see if you guys want to do it with us. That and we'll like sick. make it a big ordeal. It's like a three-day event. So we'll go. Where do, you Where do you race from? Is it like a. Well, this one starts in Russellville and you're going all through Arkansas. So you're literally going. You're going to have paved roads. You're going to be going through the wilderness, through freaking creeks and and all kinds of shit like we're probably not gonna make it through it like our shit's probably gonna uh, blow up but (laughs) we thought about seeing if everybody wanted to do it maybe we get like a a gofundme to raise for the car and then we the deal is when we're done we blow the car up or something or something crazy like we're gonna paint it i mean we're gonna i think we're gonna nickname that we're gonna we want to get like a bronco 
or maybe one of those old Cadillac oh. DeVille's, like the 30 foot long metal ones, and, and like put tires. We want to name the car the Gooch. I like that. But we wanted to see if you got, I mean, we'll wait till Kyle is comes it just, back. Is it just a race through Arkansas? Like how many miles is it? Uh, I think it's like 500 miles. It's three days. So we literally, we have to take camping gear. Like we, we're on the, we're out there. We're out in the wilderness. And, yeah, we need we'll, to do two cars because there's no way the six of us can fit in one car. Yeah, there is. We'll get like a Bronco or something huge. A minivan. Oh, it's and then a we'll, minivan. Dude, I, I want to do like stuff like I want to. There was, if you just look up Gambler 500, you're going to see some crazy ass stuff on YouTube. Like there was one car, they stole the shopping cart, they duct taped it to the top and they had a blow up doll in the shopping cart at the top. I mean, it's just crazy. It's people going out there just doing crazy stuff with their cars. It would be fun. So you all, all start right. the same, same. Like, yeah, everybody car. starts at the same spot, and then you go to checkpoints, and then you make it to a checkpoint or whatever, and you go on, and then you you camp every night, and then you try to make it through the whole race. We probably like won't car, make it through the whole like race. Cars that like break down the leg. Oh, everywhere, everywhere. All right, here we go. People just Arkansas, leave them. I'm on Arkansas <laughs> Craigslist cars under 500. First one I got, a uh, 98 Ford Explorer, uh, needs work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Jason will find us one that we – the, the thing is, if we want to, like, do, like, a GoFundMe or something for people that want to get involved, we can paint their name on the car. We can blow the car up when we're done. Because we want to get a beater, but we also want to be able to get it to where it can, like, off-road a little bit too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but this – hey, but this Mustang, though. <laughs> Mustang. Right just, just go YouTube Gambler 500. You're going to see some crazy stuff. But it would be fun. It would be fun. Oh, they got a Ford, uh, 1986 Ford Bronco 2 right here. There you Woo! go. Uh, when is that, Jimmy? When is that? It's in September. That could be so fun. we kind of want to finalize it and see what we're going to do by May. And if you guys want to get involved, maybe we'll figure something out with everybody. And then we'll, we'll probably get the car by the end of May. Jason can work on the car through June and July and August. And then we'll, we'll roll. We'll go pro it up. We'll... Get you guys down here, and we'll fucking go on a gambler. Um, we're all gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get that like the sick. we're gonna get like the dorky motorcycle helmets. You know the ones that make you look like you're <laughs> just just cool. You know that sure sounds like really. Well, what's the prize if you win? I don't think there is a prize. You just make it. Oh, you just you just do it. Yeah, you just do <laughs> it. Uh, we gotta do a thumbnail and a title, and then we, yeah, yeah, we probably need to wrap it up. Uh, thumbnail. What's thumbnail? <laughs> Uh, let's all just be like, uh, I'm going to be sophisticated over here with my okay. glasses. I'm just going to give a cool thumbs up because I'm back. Ready? Are you going to screenshot this Colby? No, oh, I guess I can screenshot it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, when I got it. Back. All right, here we go. All right. What's the title? Uh, shoot. I always forget what we talk about, but we I'm talked about a lot of sports. We talked about Fortnite. We talked about call it rip call of duty. Call of duty is yeah. dead. Yeah. Call, there call you go. Duty call of duty dead. is dead. All right, Colby. I don't think I need anything from you, man. I'm gonna do the thumb. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna hit Burns with the audio so he can clear it up. Actually, forget it. I'm just gonna do it. Don't yeah, even worry about it. it all it. right, we did it all, guys. We did it live. We did it live, motherfuckers. Let us know what you think in the comment section of the YouTube video if you want to see us roll the Gambler 500. Just go YouTube it, and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. It, Dude, it's, it'd be fun. It would be a lot of fun. It'd be fun. All we right. could pay. Yeah. Good anyway. Time, all right. We're out. Bye. Bye.